If you're watching these videos and, and this vlog, um, I'm hoping that you're, you're seeing that the power of God is real. Um, and yesterday we had a situation happen where my son woke up and his neck was bothering him. He kept on grabbing the back of his neck and kind of whining a little bit about it like it was aching. So we laid hands and, uh, you know, we commanded it to be healed in the name of Jesus uh, because that's what we're commanded to do. And yet it didn't seem like it manifested right away. Now, that sucks for sure, but that doesn't mean I need to beat myself up. Um, again, if Jesus had laid hands on, on my son, he would have been healed right away. There's no question about it. Um, or that it would have been in the manifestation right away or within the hours the Bible says uh, and he lives in me so Jesus did lay hands on him and yet he used me as the vessel and so the only variable unfortunately is me why it didn't why it didn't take place now that's not to say that I beat myself up it's not to even say that I'm not believing because uh, I am believing uh, but what it is to say, it means that I'm still stewarding. I'm still growing in stewardship. I'm still growing in, uh, in being faithful with the little that I have. And it just makes it a greater reality to see that, man, we really do need to obey our Lord's voice every time he speaks. We really do. And it's not like a dictatorship because he's, he's a good master. He's a good Lord. Um, I mean, he went through everything that we would ever go through. So he knows, since he's gone through it, he knows the best way to get out of it. You know what I mean? And so why, you know, it, it, even in the natural, you go to doctors because you believe that they have the information that you need in order to alleviate the, the symptom or the pain or the ailment that you're going through because you're trusting in the experience and the knowledge of that one that is the doctor well Jesus has been tempted in all points like his man and yet never sinned and yet he's gone through everything that we would ever go through and he is not he is not a man uh, but he was made in the likeness of man so he went through everything that we go through so who better to go to than him and how to get a, a relief uh, healing you know deliverance whatever there's no one better, obviously, and we know that. Uh, hopefully, you do. So, what do I do? So, I laid hands. Uh, it didn't seem to manifest. My wife laid hands. Didn't seem to manifest. Um, you know, that just means that we we need to rest in in who we are. We don't we don't ask questions like why didn't it take place. We don't ask questions as to, man, maybe it's because of this or that or. You know, we don't we don't start putting the blame game on. Um, it's a matter of recognizing, okay, uh, this didn't take place. Uh, uh, now, and I've said this before, I believe it's impossible for a son of God to lay hands and have absolutely nothing happen. Uh, and because of that, I know something happened. I just don't know to what extent. My son doesn't communicate very well uh, right now. And so they can't communicate what, what change has occurred. So um, I'm gonna stop and get some something for breakfast. And so, um, so yeah, that's something to consider. That's something to learn is that just because you lay, lay hands on someone and nothing seems to manifest, does not mean nothing has happened. Um, in fact, that's just a lying sign and wonder from the enemy who, who is antagonistic, who, who resists the things of God as much as it can possibly can. So we took him to a chiropractor. What am I going to do? Let my son, you know, I, I could, yeah, I could lay hands on him all day, which we could. Um, 
but we also trust and believe that God is working in us to willing to do of his his good pleasure. And so there's going to be a point where it comes to where it's like okay, now it's no now it's no longer a rest. Now I'm working for it. Now I'm striving. Now I'm like trying to make it to take place uh of my own ability. And right there's a no-no. <laughs> and so we went to a chiropractor. He got a minor adjustment, and uh, later, later, little later on during the day, he seemed to be doing better. So don't beat yourself up if you lay hands on someone and they don't necessarily. It doesn't seem to manifest right away. Don't beat yourself up if you're, you know, using. Uh, if you go to a doctor, but do what you believe your Lord is directing at all times. <laughs>